Hi, uh, welcome to the session on uh, CMA part two, strategic financial management. In this session, we'll discuss about uh, financial statement analysis. Financial statement analysis, in which we'll discuss about the uh, pattern of the financial statement preparation for analysis purpose. We'll discuss about the analysis like horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, and trend analysis. We have one more financial statement analysis called ratio analysis, which we'll discuss in the next session. So at the moment, we discuss about horizontal, vertical, and trend analysis. The financial statements uh, we need uh, for the analysis purpose include income statement, statement of equity, statement of financial position, and statement of cash flows. When we, proper, when we properly prepare them in a, stand, in a standard format, they can be very well used in the financial statement analysis so that we can take decisions based on the analysis. So the important statements which were used in the financial statement analysis include the income statement and the balance sheet statement of financial position. The analysis is uh, conducted by the financial analyst. So the financial analyst is any user, okay, who uses the available information and <clears throat> he takes decision based on the information he gets from the analysis. So base is financial statements and we uh, conduct an analysis based on the analysis we make decisions financial decisions so the financial analysis is nothing but a procedure which a financial analyst uses to interpret the results of an organization it can be a financial results it can be an operational results so the operational efficiency as well as the financial position of a company can be interpreted with a financial analysis. The, the financial statement analysis is also called as the art because it transforms the data from the financial statements into information that is used by the users for various uh, financial decisions, be it an investor, be it a banker, be it, uh, you know, the tax authorities or be it uh, any potential investor he uses the information to, to make some kind of financial decisions. So the analysis include, we have a comparative financial statement. The statements are to be prepared in a comparative format, which we call it as comparative financial statement analysis, common size financial statement analysis, and also trend analysis. So comparative, we call it as horizontal analysis. Common size, we call it as vertical analysis. And we have a trend analysis. In the coming uh, sessions, we'll discuss about ratio analysis. So at the moment, let us concentrate on uh, horizontal, vertical, and trend analysis. Comparative analysis. To compare the uh, financial statement, um, we need um, at least two period financial statements. So we see that uh, how best the, the business is doing well. Okay. So here we use the information of the period, previous period with the current period. So we compare the information uh, on the income statement on the balance sheet to see that any, you know, uh, weak points or any corrective measures that can be taken. So we identify some weak points or strong points and we apply if any, you know, we find any weak points, the financial statements. So uh, while preparing the financial statements in a comparative analysis, you need at least two period of financial information. Let's take an example like we have our current assets Current assets year two is 200,000, year one 
was 100,000. So as compared to year one, year two, current assets are maintained by 100,000 extra. This 100,000 extra is increased. So there is a reason, there should be a reason for increasing in current asset. So in comparative analysis, we compare current year information with that of last year, current period information with the for that of last period and find out the change. Then also express the change in the percentage. The percentage change is to be expressed in comparing the information, which is uh, the difference between current period and the previous period. That change is to be expressed in percentage. So here we put a percentage like we have a cash balance last year we maintained 4500 this year the cash balance in our form is 5000 increased uh, change is 500 so percentage change is calculated by using this formula change in the amount divided by previous period amount times 100 so change is 500 previous period amount base period amount is 4500 times 100 this way we can see the percentage change change divided by the change in the amount divided by previous period amount times 100 will give us percentage